When my backyard neighbor passed away in 2017, his family had an estate sale at the house. In the shadows in the back of the garage, partly covered with what looked like astroturf, was a nearly 13-foot long workbench. He had worked at Brown & Sharp, a well-known maker of precision machine tools in Providence, Rhode Island. At some point during the demise of the company, he acquired the bench from the factory. His family was kind enough to sell the bench to me, and with the help of some friends, I was able to disassemble and move it around the block to my garage, where it sat for several months while I worked on other projects. I started by cleaning up, priming, and painting the legs. The backsplash was quite firmly attached and I did some damage removing it. The restorer tool made quick work of removing years of finish and grime, revealing the beauty beneath. A coat of Minwax antique oil really brought out the character. I was able to repair the backsplash that I had mangled and reconstruct the drawer supports, which were in pretty bad shape. I had to fabricate several missing parts, joining them with a domino floating tenon. When the addition, including my basement shop, was built, they dug a foot deeper than the existing foundation and sloped the new up to the old. This was not usable space, but with some work, would be a perfect spot for the bench. This level line shows how much I needed to build up to get a flat surface. I started by building a form out of scrap sheet goods, scribing to the irregularities on the floor using a compass, and cutting to that line. I then snapped the top line and cut the pieces individually with a track saw and reattached them. I then made a form for a step from the playroom and fashioned a screed board and installed a piece of rebar anchored into the floor along with an expansion joint along the existing wall. And then it was time to finally mix and pour more than 30 bags of concrete. The result, while far from perfect, was better than I could have hoped given my lack of experience. It was now time to get the bench into the basement. I loaded the top on the crane bow and rolled it around the side of the house, where it spent a few months functioning as an outdoor workbench for my jointer restoration project. Once that was complete, it was time to bring it home. I set up the legs on the ledge and managed to manhandle the 13-foot top downstairs single-handedly. It sat there for another couple of months until New Year's Eve when my father-in-law helped me reattach the backsplash and maneuver the top into place. Of note, in order to fit the 13-foot bench onto the 12-foot ledge, I had to cut a foot off. I am dangerously close to completing a project that I started last September. Pouring the concrete last winter delayed by the flood. This is going to be huge in organization of this giant mess. I ended up saving the offcut and turned it into a shelf. The bench is now an integral part of this and future workshops.